This has all the ingredients of being a thoroughly entertaining match. A wonderful atmosphere greets them as they take to this terrific playing surface, a brand new surface that has been relayed in the summer. You might recall Coventry's problems at the start of last season when they couldn't play here in their first few home games of the season. Mark Robbins is regarded as the king round these parts, currently the longest serving manager in the championship. Still far. Aqua. A slip there from Bradley Gant. Now Ballard for Sunderland. Bar. Back a spot of the run of Joe Bellingham. Just couldn't reach it, but he wasn't far off. Went off injured last weekend, with about 20 minutes to go with a toe problem, but pass fit, which is good news for Coventry. He's looked impressive so far in the opening few matches. Milan van Avijk, who was brought in from Heron V in the summer. And uh, De Silva carrying Coventry forward, and now she from Gordon! Again, causing problems down the left, giving it to Sheaf. And... Uh, Godden unable to react quickly enough to make more of it. And Sunderland have brought everybody back to defend this. Held in by Valle back towards Thomas at the near post. And the gap had appeared as well at that near post. This looked as though it might have been sneaking in. Decides to bring it back to McFadzi. De Silva, a lovely touch inside. Palmer. It's back with De Silva again. Sheaf. Roll through to Casey Palmer. He's been a real handful so far in this first half. Patterson has got his hands on the ball. Palmer's been the one pulling the strings, but on this occasion, he was the one looking to make the dart in behind. Just the one added minute to be played at the end of the half. About 90 seconds away from the board going up. Chief. Palmer, who's finding those pockets of space and picking out the passes as well with ease. He said it's Sims. Patterson with the save. Lovely ball. And Sims denied by Patterson. Had time to pick his spot, but Patterson had that near post covered. Sims. Sheaf to the 
Silva. Palmer, lovely turn. Hasn't got the finish though. Bends it in there. Bellingham was loitering. Now it's Coventry's turn. Leading the charge here is Josh Eccles. Chased down by Bradley Dock. Palmer has to scurry across to keep it in play. Palmer's too strong for Troy Hume. It's still Palmer. No power on the shot. his way beyond Hume Patterson had it covered still we wait for the first goal we are reaching the midway point of the second half Equa Sunderland in the second period. Clark skips beyond Eccles. Finds Dan Neal. He tries to make a burst into the box. He goes down. And the Coventry players turn to get back up. It's obvious what they felt he was doing there. I expect there were big appeals for a penalty here when Dan Neal had to make his way into the area. The Coventry players straight away. Turn. The referee was looking for it. It's a forest of legs. Pritchard. Oh, brilliant from Pritchard. He pulled the better of them there. The break here for Hadji Wright. Now it's Gordon. Ayari. Oh, lovely ball through, Hadji Wright! Big save from Patterson. Lovely ball through from Ayari. Patterson with a big, big Sunderland save. Well, Gustavo Hama is a player who could win a game on his own for Coventry. And they were devastated to see him depart, but much loved. And great to see him offering his support to his former employers. Neil. Three minutes of the 90 to go. Still nil-nil. Clark making a burst for the line. Oh. And that fancy got the last touch on it. Could easily have been an own goal. Suddenly opens up for Sunderland. Three on three for now. Clark. Pritchard. He was looking for Dan Neal. Poor clearance. Bellingham. And McFadden throws himself behind it. And a chance here for Joe Bellingham. One last opportunity, perhaps. Sirkin, Clark, and it ends all square at the CBS Arena. Nothing to split them in the end. Clear-cut opportunities, few and far between. Nonetheless, still an absorbing battle. Sunderland get their first clean sheet of the season, and will reflect on a decent point at a team that don't give much up here and on the odd occasion that they did cause Coventry a problem that defence refused to back down no goals then here at the CBS Arena as it finishes Coventry City nil, Sunderland nil